As we lurch ever closer to the election in November, I want to offer up this public service announcement once again. It is perfectly acceptable and even commendable to judiciously unfriend, unfollow, block, and delete any and everybody who causes you grief. You don't owe them an argument, you don't owe them a platform, and you don't even owe them an explanation. If you come across a post that makes you feel all bummed and shitty, or if you notice a person consistently showing up in the comments to make you feel all bummed and shitty, it is entirely okay and even recommendable to rectify it. I know a lot of people disagree with me here. Some people will say that these contrarians deserve to be heard. You know, that may or may not be true, but one way or the other, it doesn't mean you got to be the one to hear them. And some people will accuse you of building an echo chamber, but so fucking what? That, that, that's generally what we do with a group of friends, isn't it? Like if every time I show up at dart leagues that people are talking about fucking conspiracy theories and questioning the personhood of trans people, I'm not going to play darts with those motherfuckers anymore. And of course, still others will push back, not because you have some obligation to listen to somebody, but rather because you have an opportunity to change somebody's mind. And sure, if you think you got a reasonable chance of changing somebody's mind on something and the desire to do so, have at it. Best of luck to you. I'll even give you some tips if I can. But you're not obligated to. If you're not comfortable doing that, or if you don't think you'd be good at it, or if you don't think that person would engage honestly with you in a discussion, block the motherfucker. Because, look, engaging with this shit drains you. And sometimes you don't even know how much it drains you. I have lost sleep over Twitter fights before, right? I, I've spent whole days and even whole weeks miserable in an effort to change the mind of a person who wasn't even fucking listening. And I've seen friends drive themselves to the very precipice of a breakdown, stressing over all the bullying and bullshit that they're seeing online. See, the, the, the key here is that it's never about the one fight, right? It's never about one argument. If I regularly argue with let's say flat earthers, the algorithm is going to notice that and it's going to be like, oh, hey, he seems to like to engage with this kind of content. So it's going to push more of that shit towards me. And so my experience online will be ever more overwhelmed by the kind of idiocy I've devoted myself to pushing back against. And that's great if, if you want to change as many minds as possible and get into as many arguments as you want, right? But it also turns your social media feed into an absolute shit show of the worst people in the world. And since we often can't help but think of our social media feeds as a keyhole to the larger world, that can take a serious toll on your outlook. The feeling the whole fucking world has gone crazy shows up way more often when you stare most deeply into the crazy parts. And of course, as we engage with this stuff, we're also pushing it towards our friends. Right? Let's say, like I have a bright red line when it comes to bigotry on my feet. You throw something transphobic out there, you're gone. Blocked, deleted, unfriended, whatever. And I'm not even going to tell you about it because even responding to it with a fuck you increases the chance that a trans person is going to have that post shoved into their feed. Right. And, and, and when I say all this, when I'm talking about blocking on Frederick, I'm not talking about trolls. Right. We all learned not to feed the trolls many moons ago. I'm talking about, you know, like even people that, you know, personally that love to share anti-vax bullshit or something like that. Right. Like even your friends and family, they, they've got no right to your social media. Right. Like I have plenty of friends and family members I wouldn't want anywhere near my Facebook feed. Right. I, I have a bunch of fucking friends and family in South Georgia. My ability to stay civil on any level demands that I don't see the kind of shit they post on Facebook. Right. There are conservatively 32 trillion fucking ways to keep in touch with people in the modern world. If they want to get bent out of shape because you cut them off of one of those ways, that's their issue, not yours. And look, I get that everybody has a different tolerance for this shit and a different desire when they get on social media. And your ideal approach might not mirror mine. But I've seen a lot of people genuinely damage their mental health because they failed to block enough people. Right? Like There's increasing data on this shit. Social media can absolutely wreck a person's happiness. It can do very real harm. And I think we all have a tendency to overestimate our limits until we reach them. So strictly from a rational perspective, blocking is the kind of thing that you want to err on the side of too much of.